Hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're currently trying to get a few of those side quests and side adv adventures done. Um, mainly the ones connected to the Zelda, Princess Zelda sightings. Um, so we're trying to find Pen at all the stables that we've visited, visited so far and we've completed quite a few, I think five so far. And I'm thinking, I came back to the Snowfield stable where they told us that Zelda's golden horse ran off somewhere north. Uh, but this guy can't go look for the horse because there's a huge monster around. Now I am thinking this could possibly be the Gleok that we always see when we go check in with the fairy. Um, and I've been really tempted to try and battle this guy because we've done fire Gleoks, we've done a thunder Gleok, right? In the Colosseum, wasn't that a, th a thunder one? So why not do an ice one? Um, I'm gonna check in with the Great Fairy real quick because it might be that I can upgrade just a few of my things. Because I've been collecting a few things again, not, not too much, I didn't have all that much time between the recordings. But even though this is not an area we're currently exploring, it is a side quest that if it has to do with the Gleog, would be kind of fun to deal with. Um, and it's something that if that is the clue, uh, if that is how to solve it, it is done fairly easily and then we can get up to what probably is half of the Lucky Clover Gazette quests. Um, so I think that would be cool and then after we can continue exploring or even continue side questing. Um, let's let's take it one step at, at a time. I'm gonna check if I can upgrade some things. Uh, and then I'm gonna see you by the Gleok. Okay, so I was actually right. Uh, I could upgrade two things. Um, my soldier's armor and also my snow quill tunic, which means we have the entire set and this is actually the perfect timing because it gives us the set bonus unfreezable, which might be somewhat of a game changer in the upcoming battle. Uh, I already equipped my Lionel bow, which I'm hoping will help me defeat this guy pretty quickly. Uh, but we're still gonna have to be a little careful about this stuff happening. Um, <gasps> the big difference about this is that it's flying from the beginning. I think the others that we've done were, well, stationary, not stationary, uh, like, how would I call it? They were on the floor, <laughs> on the ground in the beginning. Uh, where did you go? Oh, there's still one left. I've hit you so many times. <sighs> I'm gonna have to kill a few more bats in the future. Oh, a fire weapon would have been great, probably. Okay, Sidon, Tulin, help. But the, the, the damage is good. The damage is really good. Um, in the next round, I could try... Ooh. I could try and put on my barbarian outfit while I attack. What is he doing? What do you think you're doing? Okay, that did a little bit of damage. That did a lot of damage to me. Uh, I do have cold resistance, but that's not that's not what we're looking for. Maybe uh, defense is the best thing for now. I should have cooked more food, actually, because now I can't eat anything else because everything has an effect. And I don't want to undo the one that I have right now. Okay. I feel like I'm only hitting him ever if I use eyeballs. Uh, Horsey, you should maybe find some safer spot. Okay. Ah, but we're gonna freeze if I change now. Ah. How much can I change? Is that fine? Yeah, he's fine. He's doing okay. Hit him as much as you can. I don't have that many good weapons with me, to be on to be honest. But, uh, this one's doing, this one's doing okay. Okay, hurry up, Linky. Before he does his win thing. Okay. I think you can't really get an attack in. Let's try and hit him without the eye, because I think it's actually a little better to hit him with fire. Right, Link? Nice. It's not even attacking. Okay, there we go. Um, maybe then I need to hurry up and use an actual keys eyeball. Where do we have them? Keys eyeball. Before I can attack again. Uh, wait, I thought I couldn't freeze. Ah, uh, but I'm... 
forgot to change back into my entire ice thingy, my armor. And of course the set bonus only counts if I'm wearing the entire thing. So let's put that back on. And we still have the defense boost. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, I'm interested, is, is the horse just gonna appear after? Or do I talk to the guy and tell him that the monster is gone? And then he's like, oh, let me look for the, for the, for the horse. Or maybe... Maybe I still have to look for it out here? We'll see. We'll see. Okay, we need to be a little quicker here. Because if he attacks, he does lots of damage to me. Ah, uh, that, that wasn't too bad. Defense boost level 3, does the trick. Okay, Link. Nice, okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Sidon, Tulin, help me! <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, do we have anything else really strong? I think this is the strongest. Nice. I think it's gonna be one more round, though. Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, Tulin! Well done! But Tulin actually needs to hit the heads too many times for it to really help. Because if I hit him with an arrow in the head, okay, that's too high for me to reach. I hope the eyeballs can go this high. Please. They do not, so I need to get up somehow. Okay, I see. I see. You're supposed to fly with him. <laughs> I guess. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is so far away. And my Joy-Con's acting up again. The thing is, I, I feel like I should have gotten a new Joy-Con a while back. Or a new pair of Joy-Cons. Uh, but as the new Switch is gonna come out so soon, or fairly soon, I feel like that would be stupid. Oh, come on. Blinky, sometimes you just need to be a little quicker. I gotta heal. I'm gonna lose my defense. Oh, wait, no. With this, I'm not gonna lose the defense thing. Uh, can I yell Link? Please! Uh, wait, why is it not going up, though? Okay. What do I do? Do I... Wait, 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 wait. Do I send these back up and they hit him and he comes down or so? Or do I really need to get up there? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, Link, it just needs to go quicker. This probably has been here for too long. Oh no, it doesn't. <gasps> what is happening? <laughs> Where is he? Okay, this is crazy. Where is my fire fruits? Okay, I went up too high. But I guess it's better to, than too low. Okay, Link. <sighs> The angle's not right. Now, please, all of them. Good. Good. Ah, Joy-Con, not now! Not now! <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, is he gonna fall? I hope he falls. He does. Okay, he does fall. Wait, he died? Fall damage? How did he die? <laughs> How did he die? There was still so much health left when I hit his heads. Is this new? I can't take pictures of this. Okay. Um, Gliok Frosthorn. Amazing. Now the question is, do I look for the horse? Or do I talk to the guy and hope for the best? I mean, he's heading north. So it's about here. Um, I think I'm gonna look around for a few minutes, maybe. Um, I'm gonna mark a spot here that shows me where north is. But if I can't find the horse really quickly, then I'm just gonna go back and talk to the guy. Maybe he'll give me another hint. Because how far would the horse be from the actual monster that I need to kill for the quest? Is that a horse? Oh, I think it's there. 
Mm -hmm. I think it's time for stealth. There's only a level one stealth thingy that I've gotten from Addison or so. Oh, and there's another geoglyph, but I think I'm gonna leave that for when we actually come here. For real. Okay, this is a very golden horse. Very golden. And it's got a, a specific picture. Like, you need to take a picture of this. You just the spotted one! Can I get the spotted one first? I really want the spotted horse. I've never seen one of these. Do they maybe only live here in the snow? I definitely need to come here and get, get one of those. But I think maybe the focus should be on the golden one. Uh, guys, are you scaring away the horses? Do we need to turn these guys off for this? That would be a little ridiculous, to be honest. Dismiss. Dismiss. Okay, let me just check if this is a, a quick one. Okay, no, it seems rather slow. And three stamina points, so... Maybe the same color at one point, but better, better performance. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Ah, uh, but it's not... I think they didn't do that very well. The coat looks rather glitchy. Or the coat, the hair, I guess. I almost got it. I don't know why I, why it scared it off. Come on. What? But why? What did I do wrong here? Oh, this is gonna be a little annoying, I think. Okay, I couldn't go slower. We got him. Uh, do we get to keep this horse? Oh, but the hair is not... I think they didn't program that very well. Oh, I think I don't love it. Okay, this one seems quicker. I mean, it's Zelda's horse. I shouldn't be able to keep it. Okay, it is very quick. That's amazing, actually. With this speed, maybe the, the lack of a fourth or fifth stamina thing maybe doesn't bother me that much, even. But to be fair, I don't love the color. <laughs> I don't love it. But that's fine. Uh, in the background, is that Colton? Or Kilton? <laughs> I never know. Okay, let's just, let's just bring this golden horse back real quick. Hello, we've got the golden horse. <laughs> oh, look who's finally back home. No doubt about it, that is Princess Zelda's steed for certain. I've been worried sick, but now you found it. Uh, when did you... Oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle, you know what I'm saying. Uh, just give him a hard time. Uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But uh, is it just me, or has that misplaced pony here gotten kind of attached to you? So I do get to keep it. I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Uh, really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. Why did she give him up in the first place? Or her? And in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. If that's the case, partner, then how could you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor for the horse, at least. Wait, I, I want you to have this too. Ooh, the royal bridle in the saddle, I guess. The shimmering emblem design of the saddle signifies its origins with the Hyrulean royal family. They say Princess Zelda herself once used the saddle for her own beloved horse. Okay. Very nice. You might still be a rookie, but you're every bit as good of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. We've worked together to chase six of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. What do we get? Money. Nice. Um, see you soon. Soar along. <laughs> nice. Zelda's golden horse complete. What do we think about it, though? What do we think? Uh, I don't... I don't love it. They should have made it, like... A more natural color, but close to gold, and that's why they say it's a golden horse. But it's like actually Aww. golden. So yeah. Aww. Okay, who do we let go? Spot is cute. He needs to stay. I guess. Um, 
Yeah, Kaya can go. And then what we... Ooh, yeah, speed four. What we call her. Um, I'd say it's a female. Um, let's call her Aurora for some reason. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Welcome to the team. All right, here we have her with her royal equipment and all. Um, I do love her hairstyle. <laughs> but well, um, at least at least she's quick. I guess that's the main the main part here. Um, I think it's time for us to go back to exploring the uh, area around Zora's domain. There's still quite a bit missing. And I think these were all the stables that we've visited so far. And we completed almost all of those quests, so... I think it's fine for now. We'll leave some for later on. As I'm gonna come back to this area where I already marked some spots that we're still missing and I'm gonna see you there in just a second. Okay, I just came up the waterfall and I already found something underneath the bridge here. I just don't really know what I can attach to this. I think this might be the moment for a rocket. <laughs> um... They don't want to spend a lot of time on this. And go. I put it on the wrong way around, but it worked just as I'm glad. Welcome to the team, little Korok buddy. Oh well, only his poo, I guess. Alright, moving on. Uh, we're on a bridge here, which is called East Sokala Bridge. Sweet. Reminds me of Sokka from the Avatar. Legend of... what's it called? Uh, the Last Airbender. In case you know that. <laughs> I should check if I've got a picture of this. I have. This one definitely. Um, the fire guy... oh! Oh, it's a meteor one! Meteor whiz rope. Should I maybe take him out? I don't think there's an element that's strong against him. So let's just try it my way. Or my way. The, the normal way where he doesn't die in one shot. Oh, sticky frog nearby. I still got that turned on from looking for materials, I guess. Thank you, Tulin. Let's see if I need a picture of his weapon. Nope. Oh, that's a ruby rod. But then why... What's the difference here between Meteo and Fire with Rope? Interesting. I think we're gonna turn off the sensor though for whatever I was looking for. Um, I think... Uh, wait, oh, I'm confused. I think shrines are fine for now. I'm not specifically looking for materials right now. So all of this seems kind of uneventful to be honest. This looks like a spot where a waterfall would have been, but there is none. And it doesn't seem like there's a quest or so where I have to like turn the waterfall back on, so... Ooh, right, we're getting closer to the chasm. Nice. Very cool. Uh, but I'm just gonna check out the, the rest of these islands real quick. Okay, so it was pretty une uneventful. I didn't really find anything. So I'm now exploring the area around the chasm. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna go in before I keep con uh, exploring the above grounds. Because of course the depths want to be explored too. But I definitely want to see what this person is doing. It might just be a Yiga person though. Oh no, okay. This is actually a person. <laughs> I can't believe they misheard explore all other paths as exploring underpants. <laughs> I know that's not funny, but it's really funny. Anyway, I'm just glad I don't have to work in my underpants. And it's because you opened everyone's eyes to the uh, naked truth. <laughs> Very funny. Pun intended, I guess. Uh, let's head over to the left first. Take out these guys. I haven't seen blue... That many blue guys in a while. Um, I do need to take the armor off this guy. Nice. Oh, of course. Of course. Leave me alone. Did he shoot at Chulin? 
Also, why am I so bad right now? I really need to get um, new food. I should have done that at one of the stables, actually. Ooh, almost broken. It wasn't that strong anyways, because it was just a flux thingy. Uh, level 1, I think. Flux construct. Okay. Nice. There we go. Um, I'm pretty proud of me defeating all types of Pulyox so far. Um, that also means that we can soon go back to... There was one spot in the Sky Islands pretty early on where there was a Gliok. I think that was in the, in the Hebra area. Um, on one of those islands... Or was it maybe not Hebra? Was it... Ah, yeah, 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 here. Um, I'm gonna try and remember to take care of this soon, because I'm definitely feeling ready. Oh, and I also should try and go back to the flower-shaped islands, because they have to have something to do with... with those rock stone slates, I guess. Oh, found something! Looks like a Korok somewhere around here? Yep. Nice, hello. And there's quite a few big guys in the background. I think I'm gonna leave them be. They're on the bridge, huh? That kind of belongs to the area that I wanted to explore right now. So uh -huh, maybe I'll tackle them now. Better than later. And then I can still check out the depths. Okay, this looks like a spot where Addison would usually be. Uh, South Akala Stable, South Lake Akala. What lake? Confused. Okay. Mm. I wanted to check out the bridge, so I guess that's where these guys come in. And now I know why the Silver Bokoblin almost killed me, because I'm wearing my worst defense armor. Um... Let's change that. Oh, I want to upgrade my bandana too. I don't remember what I needed for this though. I made a list and I, whenever I watch TV and watch something chill that I don't need to pay that much attention to, then I try to collect a few, to th uh, a few of the things that I need. Little by little, so I can upgrade my stuff. Okay. Nope. Nope. Ugh. Ah! Getting nasty. Nice. Pull him? No? Okay. I'll accept that. Oh, a lot going on. Oh, fire. Fire could be dangerous. I think it's time for Puff Shroom? Puff Shroom. Uh, definitely Puff, puff Shroom. Maybe several. Uh, you definitely get one. Because you're the most dangerous at the moment. Everybody else is kind of chill. Okay, let's take out of uh, let's take out the smaller ones first because then I can focus on the dangerous ones okay let's attack him with with fire while we can oh I hate that everybody's falling because that means we don't get the materials but I said that so weirdly my materials nice okay can you not fall though that would actually be Pretty cool. Oh wait, I only see that now. It's one of those side quest locations. But isn't it usually that Haas was his name comes to fight with us for these? Since when do I have to do that alone? <laughs> very, very weird. Okay, let's drop all of those sticks that I picked up along the way somewhere. Um, and take the real stuff. Ah, oh, that's a stable I've been to. Somebody building a huge fire? Okay. Fine. I guess uh, nothing else here? Um, I'm still gonna check the bridge from underneath. I'm just scared I'm not gonna get back up. Oh, we might be able to use a scent here. And there is actually something. And here they provide us with what we need. So we don't have to use a rocket. But I don't know how I could have solved the one, the last one, 
of this kind in the water. There we go. Hello. You found us. Um, okay, cool. Then I kind of want to go back here. Not sure they're going to let me use a scent, though. Of course not. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to climb. Wait, there is a Thunder Gliok up there? Where is that? What place is that? Oh, that's so close. Okay, but I'm going to I'm going to resist. I just killed a Gliok. Um and I killed a Thunder one fairly recently too. Where's that shrine? Oh, that one. Oh, you know what? That would be actually pretty cool, but how do I get up there? That would be very cool. We have another Light of Blessing and a spawn point here. I think I'm gonna climb up, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> and I'm gonna see you up there. We're definitely gonna, gonna complete that shrine. It's shrine time. Nice! The springs always do the trick. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. What an interesting place. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna not check out everything. I just want to see if I can see the, the Leog from here. Because that should be somewhere around here. Wait. Wasn't that I was down there somewhere? Why can't I see that now? Oh. Found it. Ooh. <laughs> I've taken so many pictures of these. Um, I should actually head back to Hateno Village at one point to get that fabric. I also have a different one. I don't remember which one it was. I think the Arakudas, maybe. Uh, maybe I can do that after the shrine and then I can come back here. Okay, uh, ascend, I guess. Because there is nothing. Uh huh. A switch. What for? Okay, it turns over there. And then I go in there. Oh, okay. And what am I supposed to do? Can I maybe see a treasure chest already? Up there. So the idea is to hit this probably twice. So that the treasure chest gets available to us. Wait, was it still up there? Okay. Of course. Uh, oh, there are several. That's why. Okay, so that one should now be available. And then I get the next. And then I don't know. Uh, it might be that I need to use the other switch again as well. Because I don't think they only have me use that once. And then never again. Um, this one. Okay. That should be all the treasure for this one at least. Mm-hmm. Does that mean I need to shoot at the switch? Okay, there's actually more treasure chests in here. That's the one that I just opened, right? And I can see another one. The destination, I think, is somewhere up there. Okay, that's a tricky one for me, because it requires, like, logical thinking or whatever, which I don't do usually very well at. Okay, so I, ha I somehow need to get up there as well. Mm -hmm. I think I should have stayed in and shot at this with an arrow. Oh, I see the, the last, probably last treasure chest. Let's get that. That should be a quick one. Um, we just need to turn this around several times. Oh, but if I can't get to it, then that's a problem. Oh, oh, I, I see. We can use a scent here. And then I think we should be able to reach... The switch. Please. <laughs> I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to be done. But I think that should be possible, actually. Or maybe just from the edge. <laughs> yep, don't wait too long. Oh, go in, Link. Okay, now where was the treasure chest? I lost all orientation. 
Nope. Hä? Why? Wasn't that over to the left? Okay, I'm confused. Ah, but... I can also... If I turn this on once more, let's turn this around and then I think I could have jumped out there and gotten to the treasure chest. Oh, there's a ladder. <laughs> there is a ladder, so getting to the treasure chest is not that big of a problem. It's not as, as big as I thought. Okay, sweet. That's all the treasure. Nice, and then I guess I can use a scent to get back in here. But then how do I get to the exit? I think I need to uh, turn this. Um, yeah. Because, look, the way I'm thinking is that I need to use that thing, that long thingy, and use a scent. So, how do I turn this in a way that makes it possible for me to use scent there? <laughs> I definitely need this. Um, because that's... the thingy is just gonna stay up there if I don't. Yeah... Are we sure there's not another switch? Because this doesn't, doesn't, that doesn't make it turn, like, vertical. Could I just use... Look, I could just use springs to get... Ah, no, because I can't use my Luna devices in here. Can I? Nope. <laughs> that would have been the easy way out. Let's get the thingy down here, first of all. Yeah... Mm-hmm. Wait, if I just twist it two times more, and then I kind of need to get it to the other side, even though that might not matter. Nice. And then it's the right way. I think. I mean, then we can get on top, and from there we should be able to get to the, to the end of the shrine. Right? Yeah! Okay. To be fair, Ooh, <laughs> uh, that was cool. That was that was that was not too bad. I enjoyed it. Ah, what was that link? Let's get the light of blessing. I don't know how many I have. I think I just used my last four, so it could be the first or second. Yeah. Alrighty. Then I'm gonna see you in Hoteno Village. All right, here we are at the dye shop where I hope this guy is gonna give me a few more fabrics. Um, let's tell me more. Wait, how did I do that? Rework. I have a new reference. Have, have a look at my pictures. There is a few monsters here. Yep, the Arukuda. Let's have a look at it. All tone. Ton? Tone. <laughs> With your help, I've made a very pretty pattern. You can have the fabric I worked up as a thanks. Oh, that's ugly though. <laughs> um, but have a look at the Gliog. Would it matter which one we show him? Like what element? Okay. Oh, well that is... That is fancy. Do I have something else? No. Um, but I think there was a list. There was a list. Rework. Doesn't he... Didn't he show me a list? Rework the paraglider. Yeah, okay. Stallnox, Grizzle Maw Bear, Puko, Elden Ostrich. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. So I can remember. I do like the one that I currently have, but I think, I mean, come on, that's so fancy. The Lionel one is really cool. This one is just horrible. <laughs> um, I like the horse one. There's so many good ones. 
There are so many good ones. I'll take this though. Ooh. Okay, that is so, so fancy. Is there anything else I need to do here? I don't think so, right? Okay, well then we're back here. We're just gonna explore those last few spots. Actually starting with that one here. Let's try not get too close to the Gliog though. <laughs> but yeah, that looked like a, a rock here. Um, in the last few spots and in the next episode I think we're just gonna start in the depths. Because why, why wait? Um, I see. I see. This way. That should be it. Yeah. Alright. There we go. You look funny. Very, very sweet. Uh, we actually have enough Korok seeds for another shield stash upgrade, I think. But I don't need it all that much, so... Um, we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, that little rock up there is a little suspicious. <laughs> um, sad things, I need to climb it all by myself. Meh. I am really looking forward to the complete climbing outfit. I don't quite remember what the set bonus was, but I guess it has to do with... I think it was like that you need less energy for jumping or something like that. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> hey, sweet little one. He's a maple Korok. Nice. Um, where else? Uh, we're definitely going to check that out. But first we're going to have a look at those ruins. Um, or I guess ruins or rocks on the map. Yeah. Uh, there's a Talus there. Not sure that belongs to... Cave? Where? Okay. There's a cave around here. Um, Akala Bridge Ruins. Oh, this was a bridge in Breath of the Wild. And here's the cave. Definitely need to explore that. Uh, but this is very obvious. Uh, do I have a sword for this? Yeah. Nice. Okay. That went smoothly. Like the fourth or fifth in this episode, at least. Nice. Um, apart from that, I guess everything interesting is going on up there. So let me get back up and, and then we're we're gonna start the next episode with the cave, actually. And then do the depths right after. Alrighty, that's a good spot to end the episode. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you're gonna be back for the next one. Take care until then and goodbye.